Tennessee Action News. Now at 11, a deadly mystery in one of Tampa's most exclusive gated neighborhoods. Four bodies in a burning home. Right now, investigators sifting through the ashes, searching for clues. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. It is a heartbreaking case, and right now, investigators are struggling to piece it all together. Detectives still working to answer these questions tonight. First, confirming who those four bodies are, then how they died, who set the fire, and ultimately, why. All news since 6, our Edward Lawrence is finding out more about the family who lived in that home. We are getting a first look at one of the possible victims of the massive fire in this million dollar mansion. This is college recruiting video of Colin Campbell. People who knew him say he was a star baseball player at Carrollwood Day School. Colin, his sister Megan Campbell, and parents Darren and Kim Campbell are believed to have died in the early morning fire. Tonight, investigators are trying to determine who started it. 911 calls early on point to the fire starting on the garage side of the house. This okay. is so bad. I was walking my dogs and the house just exploded. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Corporal Donna Lazinski says the explosions were most likely fireworks spread across the house. Detectives interviewed celebrity neighbors like Tony Dungy, hoping to gather any information they can on the tragedy. Corporal Lazinski confirmed the fire was intentionally set using an accelerant. She also says the body of a man and woman were found in the master bedroom. The body of a teen boy and teen girl were in their respective bedrooms. At this point on two of the victims, there is upper body trauma, but we're still going to have to wait for the medical examiner to determine the exact cause of death and what those particular injuries were. She says the neighbors do not need to worry about an outside attacker. And the bodies have been taken from inside the home in that neighborhood back to the coroner's office for an exact cause of death. Tonight, investigators have actually collected new evidence from inside the home. They've left the scene to try and figure out exactly how this fire started. Reporting live in Tampa, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News. Thank you, Edward. Meanwhile, both teens were students at Carrollwood Day School, and so many of their classmates and friends are reaching out on Twitter, putting up tweets expressing their pain and their grief over exactly what happened here today. Classmates logging on to Twitter, sending their thoughts and prayers to the Campbell family, others remembering special moments in class and after school. Colin Campbell was a senior at Carrollwood Day School, and his sister, Megan, was a freshman. And you can see much more of our coverage, including more tweets and pictures, and our ongoing investigation on abcactionnews.com. Jameson?